Hey everybody and welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. I am so excited for this video today. This is going to be super cool. If this is your first time visiting the channel, by the way, well, welcome to Space Lizard Exotics. I'm Elliot. We're going to be doing some socializing today with, you ready for it? The Dwarf Caymans in the Cayman Cave. With my new Dogecoin shirt on, look at that. Super cool, or doggy coin, whatever you want to call it. It's called Dogecoin, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Anyway, we got a lot of things to do today, a lot of shenanigans. Why am I holding this toothbrush, Elliot? I even asked myself that. This is a socializing technique that gets them more accustomed to being handled, touched, things like that. Especially when they get bigger, you gotta watch those fingies. You got some things to do with those fingies, like grab your newest and most delicious energy drink. Maybe you got some writing to do. Or maybe you got a toothbrush to hold like I do. You got some things to do with those fingies. We got to take one of these swamp goblins out first. Which one am I gonna take out first? Is it Nebula or is it Brutus? I don't even know yet, I don't even know. But let's get cracking everyone. Let's have a wonderful, amazing day. Hope you enjoy this socializing video. I'm excited, they're excited, you are probably excited, but let's get going and let's have a wonderful day everyone. All right, everyone, so I got Nebula out here. We're gonna do her first. We're gonna see how this goes. She is a little, <laughs> she's actually a little upset. I tried to actually put her on the table with her little, you know, pad down. She did not like it. She actually uh, jumped off the table. I did not want anything to do with that. So we're gonna have to put her in her tote. She's a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more active than uh, and skittish. Uh, not wanting to hang out on the table. She wants to run. So we can't have that. We can't have uh, Eliente chasing the gator today. So we're gonna try this technique. We're gonna see how she reacts on top of the head, right? Oh, I know, see? And that motion right there is part of the training because any lot of little motion is usually a snap, especially with the front of that little, the little face right there. Oh my goodness, look at those little teeth. When they do that, usually they're gonna snap at you. So that's a lot better than your pinky and the toothbrush is why we're doing this. So check this out. We're gonna try it a little bit on top of her head. While we're doing this, we do not put a lot of pressure, okay? It's just very light. So we're gonna try it out, see what she does. How amazing is that, right? She hasn't snapped. She hasn't snapped yet, which is very good. She does a lot better on the top of her head than she does her back. She does not like her back sti uh, stimulated with the toothbrush. She actually will turn around and snap usually right away. She's a lot better on the top of her head. How cool is that? Yeah, good girl, see? And on this we're not putting any pressure. Woo, look at that, see? And that was my bad, I shouldn't have really reacted like that. Um, like I said, they're very explosive. You don't want to really, um, so it sounds funny, you don't want to react in a very jolting manner because they remember that and they know that you are scared of them. And they're gonna use that every single time to try to scare you off. Nebula is my first dwarf caiman. She is amazing. I love her. She's grown quite substantially since I've had her. These amazing, beautiful creatures, by the way, in the wild, they do actually have predators of their own, such as green anacondas, jaguars, things like that, bigger birds, especially when they're smaller like this. A lot of them get actually eaten in the wild. Well, they get eaten. There's a very large percent that gets eaten, I should say. And in her case, you were a captive bred, so you weren't wild caught. No, you weren't. Because nobody's going into a, well, a wild caiman area and taking mom's babies. I'm just telling you that right now. All the ones that you do see are going to be captive bred. Let's try it under. Let's see what she does under here. Let's see what she does. Ooh, she snapped at it. Yeah, she's not snapping no more. Look. Look at that. Yeah, okay. I know. She snapped at that. Okay, we won't do that. We won't, you don't like that one, huh? You don't like that, huh? And I'm holding her really lightly, not hard at all. Um, firm, but not a hard grip. It's actually pretty light for the most part. Um, so this technique, like I said, is used on alligators, crocodiles, and of course, cougars, dwarf caiman. This is a socializing technique to get them to not snap at you as much. Super cool. Aren't you excited about that? To not always try to eat that. We're gonna try to get that mouth closed though. We gotta get that mouth closed eventually. We do, let's close that mouth. Close that mouth a little bit. Huh, trying to show how big and bad you are, huh? Brutus is a beast. And he is definitely a little bit more nippy than you. Yes, he is. So look at this beautiful little dwarf caiman though. Look at all those beautiful, amazing, 
patterns. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. They are absolutely amazing, amazing animals. I know, you want to get back. She wants to get back in her tank. So let's get her back. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, let's get her back in there. Let's get you back in there, baby. Come on. So of course, here's my big boy Brutus. Oh my goodness, look at this dwarf caiman. He is huge, he's my male. He's the one who likes to hold on to my knuckle and not let go, so we got a lot of socializing to do with this one. Ready for the toothbrush method? We're gonna try it out, okay? So like I said, Brutus is a little, little harder to uh, handle. Part of it is because he is getting larger and he is a little bit larger than Nebula. Also, he has a little attitude. A little bit more of an attitude, actually. He's just staring at me right now, watching me, watching my every move. Get up. So you ready, buddy? Toothbrush, see? This is the toothbrush. No, you don't know what that means, but I'm gonna try it out, okay? Pretty good, bud. Look at you. You've done, you're doing better than you did last time. This is actually a very, very big growth for him because usually he instantly will snap. If you noticed, uh, there's a video on TikTok of me petting the back of his head, me doing a little goofy face, and I've pet him about three times, and on the third time, he actually gets me, my finger. Um, a lot of comments were like, oh my God, why are you teething him? Stop teething your caiman. Oh my God, what did you get having a dinosaur? Oh my God, bro, why are you teething your caiman, dude? Stupid, didn't read your finger by me. All those wonderful comments. Well, when you own cougars, dwarf caimans, and exotic reptiles like this, you're bound to get bit, okay? Reptiles aren't for everybody, but especially dwarf caimans. They're not like a gecko. It's not like a crested gecko to where you're like, what's up, buddy? Let's hang out. Probably 99.9% .9 of the time, you're not gonna bite me. These things are very explosive. They're little dinosaurs. And yes, I do take the precautions of owning them. And I do know that, hey, Elliot, you could potentially lose your finger or something crazy like that when they get large and they're a lot to handle. And yes, they're not like a kitty or a puppy, but they're swamp puppies. When you do socialize them and build a relationship and a bond with them and a trust factor with them, they could be very spectacular, amazing animals. Even without that, they're still spectacular animals and they are just doing what they naturally are born to do. You know, they are predatorial animals, so expecting their reaction like that is expected. It's not their fault. I'm handling them, right? So, huh, you're doing very good, by the way. So, when you do see videos like that of me potentially getting bit or getting bit, it's not me definitely teasing the animal. It's just all part of the handling experience with the animal. Of course, there are times you're going to get bit by your snake, your caiman, your lizard, one of your reptiles. If it snaps at me, well, it's all part of the experience and all part of the reaction. That's why we make these videos to show, hey, this is what it is to, well, and like to keep crazy caimans or snakes or anything as such, right? And the goal is to make sure they're comfortable, you're comfortable handling them, and they get more social. They get more social with you. You can socialize any animal. It's just to, you know, the extent of how they're gonna be you know, react to it. If they're going to be, some are going to be way more receptive. Some are not. It's all part. Of, it's all part of life, right? I don't mind personally getting bit. Do I go into every video or every little shoot I do, like being like, "Yeah, I'm going to get bit. I'm excited." Not at all. But when it happens, the reason why I'm so calm about that is because, well, I'm not worried about it. It happens. It's all part. It's all part of the experience. And I'm. I love every moment with these animals, even if they do bite me. It happens. It's like a pinprick. You know, if you ever fell off, you know, your bike when you were riding as a kid, got your knees scraped, get back up and keep riding, right? Never give up, don't be quitting, don't be quitting on me. But that's, my rant is done about that. So, main thing is about Brutus here, all right? He's doing so good, even with me talking. Isn't that crazy? You've done very good. I take it all back, he's actually done better than Nebula. You won, you got the, uh, you got the gold star today, pal. Look at that. So, whoop, he got it. Yep, yep. And now he's not really having it, right? So he's reacting. Let me reposition you, buddy. Reposition you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. See, when I say explosive, very explosive creatures. So when you do handle your dwarf caiman, always try to keep your hand underneath right here. 
not, you don't have to squeeze or bolt, but you always want to approach them from the bottom, have your hand underneath their belly. I usually keep my finger right behind the jawline right there, that way they cannot snap back. Um, like I said, as you've seen in a couple of videos, um, how he has gotten me is where my position is on my hand and where it is at on his body. That's why he was able to grab and hold on and bite. Like I said, and it's just a human reaction. Of course, you want to pull back right away when they do snap. I do it sometimes still too. Gosh dang it, right? Gotta get a little bit better at that. But main reaction is not to react like that because you don't want them to know that you reacted in a, like a, well, a fear reaction, right? Of like, oh God, that was scary. Oh God, you could have snapped my fingy off for the organic toothbrush. Well, I think you did phenomenal today. And everyone, what do you think about the socializing video? Make some comments below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, hit the subscribe button. That way you get to stay up to date with all these cool little videos like this with Brutus and Nebula and all the other little scaly creatures. Hope you have a wonderful, amazing day, everyone. And thank you so much for tuning in. And stay wonderful, stay amazing. And wherever you're tuning at in this wonderful, glorious, amazing world, whether it's daytime or nighttime, thank you so much and have a wonderful, amazing day night, evening, wherever you're at in this galaxy, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Space Lizard Exotics, and we will see you next time.